This is my favorite game of all time. No questions asked. Prove it. Which is surprising because like I'm kind of known as the Psychonauts guy in the community. Yeah, I would have thought Excuse it was Elise. Me. I think that maybe maybe James is copying Elise. What? Uh, that's Excuse me. O often that happens with spouses, partners. You know, one has something they're interested in, the other one yeah. kind of latches on. I've seen it. Has trouble getting their own identity, you know? Mm -hmm. How? Kind of sad. This is absurd. Let's talk about our favorites, all our favorite games. We'll talk about no silly things unless it's our favorite game. Won't be no lime over man talkie. Let's play our favorite games. I'm gonna start a new game from the top, so that way you guys can kind of see it from the beginning. Are we in a brain? Is that the no. concept of the game? No, the concept yeah. of the game is that there is a summer camp that trains psychic kids, basically, uh -huh. to prepare them for a world. It's like Boy Scouts for the FBI or for like being a spy because there's this group called Psychonauts. Psychonauts! He said Psychonauts. They basically like fight crime and international espionage. One of the reasons I love this game is beyond its art style because I love the art style. Um, every single character looks different and has such an amazing personality. The levels in the game aren't unlike Super Mario 64 where you're jumping, you have a hub world and you're jumping into new levels while also solving the challenges of the hub world. The best thing about it is that it's a platformer, an action platformer, except every level is pretty different because every person's mind processes the trauma of their lives in different way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. As you play through the levels, you're working through their their mental issues yeah. and their their anguish because nobody, everyone has some sort of yeah. baggage. So this is Raz. That's Raz. Ryan. That's our main character. That's our, main character. That's our main character. Our main character. Cool guy. He ran away from home to become a psychonaut, so he's not officially supposed to be here. This is the hub world. This is camp. You got a double jump, a little psychic double jump there. One of the things I love about it is that, again, it's like Super Mario 64 with platforming and adventuring, but it's also a lot like Metroid where you unlock new abilities, which then give you uh, the ability to unlock new areas and power-ups. Mm -hmm. It has an RPG element. You start with only three health, but then you can power yourself up. I wish I knew these game references. <laughs> yeah, you're not selling it to Ryan. You just, you, you want to sell you it to Ryan. You can't sell Ryan a video game by explaining yeah. it like other Sorry. video games. Uh, it's like Metroid, all right, what the fuck is Metroid? You have to uh, appeal to Ryan's <laughs> sensibilities. This here. is like... Uh, Compare it to things in Memphis. You know how Elvis changed his personality over the years? Oh yeah, yeah, uh, army Elvis, Hawaiian Elvis, fat Elvis, dead Elvis. He didn't stick with one form of Elvis and he kind of like nice. advanced as Elvis over the years. Yeah, he reinvented himself, like Madonna. Imagine a game where you didn't have to play as just one form of Elvis during the whole course of the game, and the things, the items that you gathered, or the singles and Hawaiian-based movies that you start in, allowed you to grow and develop into different Elvises. Brilliant, so, yeah. Exactly. I like this. <laughs> this game's cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is already better than Fable, Alana, I want to say. Wow, okay. Wow, that was Like harsh. five seconds know. in, better than Fable. I fought it on like 10 people for you in that game. Alana right? had an okay. hour to, t to tell me, improved me how awesome Fable was uh -huh. and, and failed miserably. Did you do this in Fable? Sick, bro. No, you could not. Are these monsters? Or are they supposed to be humanoid? They're, they're kids. They're yeah. They're just very stylized humanoid kids. Looks like some he's a bully. Broccoli. You're gonna run into him several times. So what he has, he has a psychic door that he Holy has on his fuck. head. And so I'm gonna put on my sweet psychic goggles. Jump on. And I'm in. gonna go in to his psychic boot camp. So everything in the game is in tone with it. Ah, that's oh my important god. Important question. Do you yeah. think Rasputin has hooves? Oh, because of his big old clomp feet? Look at his lower, yeah. <laughs> look at his little clompers he's got down there. I don't know, maybe. I always thought they were like bell bottoms. So see, it's a, like a mental world, so everything consists of all the attributes of that person's mentality. That's a figment of, of his imagination, Gotta, which is a big scary. Yeah. So there's emotional baggage. <laughs> it's literally emotional baggage. It's literally oh, yeah. emotional. Ryan loves it. All right, I'll find your tag, little buddy. Don't you worry. There it is. There it is. Woohoo. Hey, Ryan, what do you think that, uh, you know, if you had this kind of mind palace, what do you think the theme would be? That's a good question. Oh, man. Uh, I think I would mostly just have 
dogs and probably a beach. Like, I feel like that is most of what's important to me. Yeah, I think that's probably what we, James and I would have. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine would be a gym. It should be something more about your, like, state of mind. Mm. You would literally be inside of, like, a, a, a life-size Adobe Premiere and you're jumping from timeline <laughs> to timeline. Yeah. Does the playback button randomly stop working? Yeah, you buffer every oh. once in a while and you shut down and crash and it fucking sucks. Your name, Joey. No. Cause I'm gonna it's call you Joey. Slowy Joey. Slowy Joey. Nice. <laughs> that, was, that was a zinger. <laughs> and the thing is, he had to like set up his own joke. Well, he's like the yeah. shitty version of uh, Arlie Emery. James. <laughs> yes. Have have you always been James or have you ever been a Jim or a Jim? Yeah, Jimmy? I was I was a Jimmy for the first twenty something years of my life. Jimmy Willems. Guys, I don't want to alarm you, but I found a, a, a mental vault. This don't is, they give the real, the actual backstory? It generally, the first one is what they think mm -hmm. is their mm -hmm. actual story, and then you find more that get, raises a question, and then the last one is the final piece. He was at Iwo Jima? So look at him. Look at this <laughs> fucking hero. Look at this cool guy with a his lot really taller long and legs his, yeah. and long Very arms. Tall guy. Yeah. So heroic. He's a pillar of the military with long legs and long arms. Can we go to another person's mind? Yeah, so I'm gonna we'll just finish this one I'm almost done with this level and then we'll uh, I'll jump you give you guys the old jump around What do you think Ryan are the chances you would get and play this game to be t perfectly honest zero percent? Okay, but not because I don't <laughs> like it. It's just I there's life short and I'm I never gonna play this I, I but, feel uh, you uh, but I do like it, and I like watching James do it, and I'm happy I have done this today. Fable, on the other hand. <laughs> Why do you keep well, picking on okay. Fable? <laughs> this isn't what the series is about. <laughs> what if Fable sucks. James said, Ryan, will you watch me an hour every evening play play Psychonauts? Would you, what would you I say? I would play it for Ryan. Dude, I... Uh, ab you just said that we've uh, that we're almost out of time, and I didn't even realize it because time has flown by. Watch this, I'm gonna so knock him out of the way. Video. Get out of the I way, punk. But if you notice, I'm the first one here and no one's here to celebrate me. What? That's weird. That door that has door. been left upon open. Strangely bright white and room. And I meant a cobweb that down there. Huh. Should I be I'm going in here? What's going on oh, here? Be careful, James. Be hmm. careful. Hmm. Better no, check it out. Window? Hold it right there, son. What? <laughs> Now just what the oh. Sam Hill do you think you're doing? Oh, well, looks like he interrupted. Why is he so suspicious? Coach Oleander, what have you got to hide? Here. Yes. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. It's like a Boy Scout thing. Basic braining. Complete. Nice. Later on in the game, you'll unlock the brain tumbler, which is in the experiment, which basically just lets you jump from brain to brain mm -hmm. without having to put a door on someone's head. So I'm just going to jump Hell into yeah. a couple levels and show you. Party level. This is a party level. So the whole thing is I'm Mila's a big fan dance of the party. colors. So there's the censorship yeah, I, boys. I hate these guys. Whoa, dude. Oh. Who are these nerds? This is where the game stops being fun for me. <laughs> so when there's any threat. <laughs> what kind of psychedelic drugs do you usually consume before you play this game, James? Uh, I don't need any. That's the beauty of the game. Is what? You can just you oh. can just enjoy it. Yeah. Wow, that's, I never thought about it like that. But what specific drug do I need to enjoy <laughs> this garbage? This is awesome. This is just a cool thing that I can do. It, man. Do a kickflip. Ah, oh, oh Raz, Raz, Raz is afraid of water. Oh yeah. This guy's afraid of water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he literally is like this brave psychonaut mm -hmm. uh, kid, and then he's afraid of the most basic element on Earth. People say that about me too all the time, Ryan, mm -hmm. but I'm still afraid of spiders, you know? That's yeah. Being really spiders brave. aren't, you don't have to drink spiders to live. <laughs> all great heroes have weaknesses. It's also great because it ties into the fact that everyone has their like mental trauma, mental anguish. Mm -hmm. In fact, <laughs> I, I have a friend who's got a thing against scarecrows. Like scarecrows really yeah, Don't talk in. about that. Don't bring scarecrows up. Now I have to think about scarecrows. Now I'm freaked. Oh, mm. I, um, sorry. I just knew someone else that. Elise, we talked about this. That was in confidence. Towards the end of the level, you race the other students to prove your ability oh, to do it. Oh, fuck yeah. All right. Now it's a game, baby. So Let's go. It was fuck always a game. James. It was always a game. Jimmy Willems. Dude, you got this lock, James. Thanks. Just keep yeah, it up. Yeah, you're going to beat everyone. I'm like, doing I really, really well. I feel like you're going to win. If you see any figments, though, let me know. I don't all think right, I have all the ones for this level. Looking for figments. Newtons? I'm gonna show you guys two other levels here. The worm boy's gonna take us. So this is Lungfish Hopper. Dude, this is some pretty uh, intense themes for a, for yeah. a kid's mm -hmm. game. I interviewed Tim Schafer about it once and was like, some of these themes are pretty hardcore. Like, how did you balance that? And he was sort of just like, 
nah, uh, you know, it's just a game about having fun. Mm -hmm. He like was like, nah, it just, it just happens to be Kids there. need to get exposed to this shit at some point. It is the kind of thing where if you play it as a kid, you probably wouldn't necessarily pick up on everything no. except for the one image no. of the burning orphanage. So this is the Lungfishopolis it's level. So good. Oh, dude. So cool. So I love that we're in a fish. And all That's of the all of the mechanics change, so you're slower and heavier. You smash shit. Oh yeah, they Goggalore. call him Goggalore. <laughs> they call him Goggalore because he wears goggles. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so here are the other abilities: levitation, invisibility, pyrokinesis, clairvoyance, which is amazing, oh, yeah. confusion, and shield. So this is my shield that you you cool. can get. This is clairvoyance. So I'm seeing through the perspective of the uh, the tank right now. No, not the Natural History Museum. <laughs> <laughs> that brought it over the top, James. Before I thought the game was pretty cool. Now I get why it's your favorite game. So right. Let me pop out some smelling salts right now so that way I wake up. And then I want to show, I just want to show Ryan one more level. So this is the Milkman Conspiracy. Okay, I already think that this looks cool. There is a dude and he's just a conspiracy theorist. So he believes in all kinds of stuff. In this level, there's satellite dishes coming in. Oh, is that a figment? Hell yeah, give me that shit. What's his uh, defining conspiracy then? You know, they've all got one. He believes, he's he thinks that there's something up with the milkman. Oh, there's a camera in the bush taking pictures. Ooh, nice. Oh my God, I think these mushrooms are finally kicking in, man. This, this <laughs> level's freaking me out. But, oh, look at the guy in the window. I see you. There is so much tone in this. It's oozing with tone. It's oozing with tone. Mm. Hold on. Yeah. I, there's one more, time for one, just one more peek at a level. Just to go. Okay. Hold on. He's an artist struggling with I mean, basically artist block. He can't force himself to paint because he has this unrequited love that he hasn't been able to get over. Oh God, in Waterloo World, where you play as a, an ancestor of uh, Napoleon. And so he's trying to live up to that. It's constantly dealing. Anyway, oh, so this is Black Velvetopia. I love this mm -hmm. one. Because this is the art. He's a, a Mexican artist. And so he draws in a art style very similar to this. It's so cool. Like, I would buy this dude's art for sure. Yeah. If only he could finish a painting. And also, is this dude Tim Burton? Changes, changes Raz's colors there. This is how they see me as a target. Whoa, nice. He's big. That's a big boy. But yeah, you go around this level collecting art and all kinds of stuff, but then you, you dig into it and you figure out why he's actually dealing with all these issues. It's great, the whole game's great. I love this game. What time are we getting online tomorrow for me to watch you play this for an hour? 6 a.m., we'll start at 6 a.m. <laughs> all right, I'm down. Okay, so here's where you can go and you can look at other people's histories and such. So we saw Oleander's pride, now let's look at his shame. Oh, uh, is it him? He's like, short, off in a corner? short, going to enlist. No. Sorry, bud, you're too short. Get out of here, army Shot doesn't want cannon. you. Get out of here, Air Force doesn't want you. Get out of here, the Navy, Navy doesn't even. want you. That's what really happened? Even the army of chefs doesn't want you. So he is angry about it. Mm. Wow. It's actually really sad. It's very sad. Dude. Thank you for showing us this beautiful video game. Ryan, how'd you feel about it? Two thumbs up. I would give it uh, an 8.7 out of 10 stars. Um, I accept this as somebody's favorite game and I think that it's cool. Well, thank you guys for letting me play Psychonauts. And so, just correct me if I'm wrong, this whole series is just me showing off Psychonauts, right? 10 episodes? Yeah. Okay. Psychonauts uh, 2 is next week. Yeah, but we're going to have you record the others solo. Oh, um, that's fine. Yeah, but it's it's fine. Yeah, we can't wait to put them on the channel. I'm going to find those figments. Psychonauts with Jimmy Willems, up next. <laughs>